video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one website platform for those of you like me who don't know how to make a website. Is it just me or has the smartphone made hanging photos a little bit not of a thing? Or I don't know, maybe it's just because I, I don't have children? To be fair, I do have a lot of art of my cats on my wall. Doodling on photos I've taken, places I've been, sites I've seen. I don't know, I think adding silly characters to photographs is a way for me to enjoy photographs. So let's get into it. Y'all know I have been super obsessed with my characters, Prickle and Pear lately. In fact, I've made my very first printed ever book, comic book. It's printed media, it's something I've wanted to do for years and it's finally a thing. These characters I've wanted to do more with for forever and I'm finally doing something with them. All right, so right away I drew on the wrong layer. As you can see, my sketch is directly on the photo. I goofed. We'll just uh, copy and paste that. It's, it's fine. So this photo is of a hike Dave and I did a few years ago in Victoria, BC. There's this pipe that goes through the island. It's really interesting. You're not technically supposed to hike on it, but it's so fun to walk along this pipe and you see so many different things. It's a pipe, it's really cool. So I thought this pipe sort of looked like a path that my characters could walk along. So we have Prickle and Pear walking along this path, going on a hike. Not much to see here. It's a very cute result. I'm really excited to work on the other pieces where they travel the world, see, I don't know, maybe we'll add some creatures to other ones. But this one's pretty simple. I loved this hike. I will forever remember hiking these pipes. And it would be really cute to have this as a photo hanging on our wall because it's a huge part of our life that I feel like would be fun to see and remember. And now I've got my fun characters with it. Look at them, where are they going? Where are they headed? Let's find out. I also thought it would be really cute to just add some general dirt and grime to them since they are exploring a hiking trail. They're probably digging some poop holes, rolling in the dirt. I mean, my cats like to do that. It also just sort of brings down the general super bright colorfulness of the characters and brings them down to the little bit more earthy vibe of the photo. And honestly, I think that's looking like done. I love this photo because like I said, it reminds me of the hikes Dave and I used to take. And now I've got my characters in the scene and I think it's really cute and it just brings a whole, a whole new feeling to this image. Before we get into our other photographs, I do want to thank the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. I might be a graphic designer, sure. I make art for a living, but I don't know how to make a website. And that's why Squarespace does everything for me. With their flexible website template, you can get started with one of their professional website designs. Customize this, update that, add this feature. It's easy. And if you still need help, they do have a 24 seven email support, which I have never had to use because it's easy. And if you want, you can make an online shop. And you know what? Anybody can give you money. <laughs> Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Casey Golden to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to doodling on our photos. I'm a weeb. I've been to Japan a few times. So I had a lot of photos to choose from, but I really like this staircase photo with all of these little shriny guys with their knitted hats on. It's just so cute. And I thought Prickle and Pear would really enjoy it too. So I wanted to include Prickle and Pear going up these stairs, checking out the little statues. Cat cacti can be tourists too, right? <laughs> cute to cut off the top of Prickle's head just to make it more of a candid photo. And let's be honest, Prickle's a really tall guy, so I feel like it's only natural for his head to be cut off in some of these photos. It's cute, a simple photo of Prickle and Pear doing some sightseeing, being amazed by their surroundings, and having their heads cut off. Completely natural. <laughs> 
Okay, I think it's time we do something a little creepy. This photo is from the same island as the previous photo. I just really like the fog in the background. I think we could get a really creepy big monster back there. And Prickle and Pear could be in the front here being very spooked. like especially my comics to have characters that are blurred in the foreground and things in the background are focused or vice versa. I don't know I just I think it looks neat. So for these two guys I thought it'd be cute because the focus is on the background. Let's go ahead and blur our characters here. Now how blurred do we want to go? Oh my the more blurred, the more real it looks, like they're actually there. I don't want to lose too much detail, but I do want them to be nice and blurred. That would be really funny, but I can't see their face. But it, that really does look like they're there in front of the camera. Let's just blur them. Yeah, so you can still read everything. Everything's just sort of blurry so that we can tell that in the background, there's going to be a monster. And I think doing just a black figure in the background would be really nice. Now, what kind of monster do I want? <gasps> Ooh, I have a really good idea, actually. Now, for those of you that have read my comic, you will be familiar with this, but I'm going to create a cactus cat monster, I guess. You know, I would even go as far as to say that maybe Pear is imagining things. Maybe this is just all in Pear's mind. She just, she's got Godzilla on the brain because she's in Japan. Who knows? Okay, we've got our creepy cactus. Let's go ahead and add some creepy glowing eyes. So I'm going to give them a slight blur. Also, it's really foggy, so you know they look a little bit blurry, right? And this is where we're really going to start incorporating our cactuses into the background. We're gonna grab our eraser. Let's choose something with a little bit of texture, like a cloudy texture. So we're gonna go through and start erasing, ooh, and texturizing. I kind of like them being, so, oh gosh, the lighter they are, and I can keep their eyes super bright. Ooh. Okay, let's keep it at 10%. That seems really low, but I think I think it'll be worth it. The more I erase, the more I'm like, okay, maybe I should bring bring them back a bit because I'm erasing so much. Is that subtle enough? I feel like it's subtle enough to where if you just glanced at it, you wouldn't notice at first. I like this. I really especially like it because it ties back to the comic. What used to be a plain and boring touristy photo with nothing special about it has turned into a really fun touristy photo with a little bit of personality. I really like this one. For our last piece, let's go to Australia. I'm sorry. I'm going to try not to do the exact thing we just did, but maybe we could do a selfie. You know what? I think Pear needs to be mid blink or something really stupid looking. Let's see. I don't know if she looks mid blink, but she definitely looks stupid. And um, that's what we're going for. I feel like we need something again in the background that maybe they aren't noticing. Maybe they're being stalked by the Super tall cactus. I mean, Japan's not that far from Australia, right? Honestly, kind of creepy. I think I might like that idea. Let's just continue the story. Oh my God, can you imagine looking back at all of your vacation photos and just seeing these towering creepy cacti? It's like the cactus version of Slender Man or something. Ooh, it's creepy. Okay, I love it. I love it so much. This is the one. All right. So we'll go ahead and blur them, but I want to make sure, as usual, I want to see their faces. So we'll blur it a considerate amount, but not too much, though. Honestly, the blurrier, the funnier every time. And I was kind of thinking they might be too big. Should we, should we shrink them? I, 
me covers the entirety of the photo, but it's so cute. I literally didn't show any more of the background, but that's okay. We can always make adjustments if I need to later. And let's not forget our glowing eyes. We need those glowing eyes. Otherwise it's just not as creepy. Okay, we've got our glowing eyes. Oh my, oh my God. Imagine taking a selfie on vacation and this is what you see in the background. Now I'm good. Once again, a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace for all of the support. And of course, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.